Hey, what's up everybody? Dan Liu here. And in this video, I want to review an ad I recently came across from Jay Abraham and uh, also his sales page. So if you don't know who Jay Abraham is, he's a pretty uh, legendary marketer, um, well-respected, widely known. And so I recently came across his ad in my newsfeed and, uh, you know, I already knew his name. So, you know, I was curious to see what he was offering. So this is the ad I came across is just a still image, you know, has some, some copy to it. And so when you click on the ad or you go to the site listed in the copy, you come to this page. So, you know, scrolling through and looking at it personally, uh, you know, the word that came to my mind was just underwhelming, right? So Jay is, like I said, very widely known, has worked with a lot of businesses um, and companies and, you know, has generated a lot of money. So to come here and see this landing or sales page is, uh, you know, I was a little bit thrown off and quite frankly, a little disappointed. Um, you know, the ad first off, goes directly to basically a sales page, right? No lead magnet, no, you know, nothing really for, and, and there's nothing wrong with going just to a sales page, but when you're going to an offer for $2,000, you know, personally, I feel like you need to build up a, a lot more rapport uh, before you can ask for that kind of, um, you know, that price tag. But because it's Jay, you know, I don't know what his targeting is. He might be assuming that people who already know him are willing to pay that kind of price. And therefore, he's running an ad directly to his program. But what I want to focus more so on this or in this video is the design and the layout, right? So that's what mainly or I mainly focus on. And so when you come here, you see kind of a, a headline, you know, nothing uh, fancy, nothing really that grabs you. And you watch a short video from Jay. You know, now I want to talk to you about one of the most... Uh, just him in a... Looks like an office, maybe his home. Uh, even the quality of the video isn't great. Um, so basically, he just kind of talks about uh, the program here that he's offering. So as you scroll through and you're looking at it, you know, I don't know about you, but to my eye, I guess, you know, from a designer's standpoint... The, the use of colors and use of uh, spacing and layout is just really poor. Now, obviously, Jay didn't do this himself. You know, he likely had, um, you know, a designer do it or someone on his team. But, you know, it goes right into the program. You can see just the fact that the border is right next to the text. I mean, for visually, it just doesn't look great, right? And the text is big blocks. Right, something I, I advise against. You know, if you can break things out into sentences or, uh, you know, two to three sentences or a few lines, would be ideal. It just makes things a lot easier to consume for the reader. Um, but you can see right here, just each one of these sections, the the border just is right on top of the uh, the um, the text here. So keep going down, you watch a video. So if you don't really know who Jay is, you know, you can watch this minute and a half video where he kind of has other people basically give testimonials, um, you know, Tony Robbins, Damon John about his credibility and who he is. And then, you know, you come to the video module breakdown. So more of just what you get inside this program. So, you know, here you have at least some more padding here, some more spacing, right? But again, the colors of this entire page are just underwhelming, right? You have pretty much black, white, you know, a, a goldish color, green, and then these mixes of grays. On top of that, you know, if you actually read the copy, it's it's not the most well-written uh, copy out there. And personally, like I said, for somebody who is, uh, you know, known in the marketing world, I, I personally feel a little bit... Um, thrown off by by this page so if you keep going down um he has more buttons but once again here you go it's just more information about basically the what you're going to get in this program i mean you can see here like this bowling doesn't 
you, they miss the last few letters, right, of the sentence. So basically what they're doing is, you know, in typical copywriting, you, you might highlight, bold, or italicize certain words to help them stand out. But in this case, they just kind of alternate and did every other to break it up, which, you know, makes sense. But at the same time, um, it, it's still difficult to read, right? The text is small. It's wide, meaning it runs across the entire page. Just not easily consumable. Everything's mixed together, right? So for, if you have copy like this, you better be a great copywriter to keep somebody's attention. You know, otherwise they're going to read this and they're going to read a few lines and pretty much just give up because it's not easy to consume. Here we have breakdowns, right? 11 interview breakdowns. It lists the names of the people, but, you know, personally, th they should have images of all these different people, right? If you look at this entire webpage and you count how many images there are, let's see, there's none. Right. And that's actually the first thing I just realized there's no images in this entire landing page or sales page. And then you come down here and all of a sudden it's like, again, poor, poor use of padding or no use of padding. Really? You have call to action button and you have these giant letters now and you know, this, so Let's see what happens when you click on the button. All right. So this was built in ClickFunnels. Um, right. Again, you come to this page and it just looks like for somebody who's uh, has that kind of stature to them and their name, I would expect a lot more in terms of design and, and appearance from these pages. Right. There should be more spacing here, more here, also more spacing up top. Um, you know, this large block here is, is kind of awkward, but if you go back, I mean, one way to check if a page has been built in click funnels is you can right click on the page and go to view page source and you can see, uh, you know, whether or not it's built in click funnels or WordPress or Kartra, any other, uh, page builder. So I guess the point of this video was really just to kind of point out, um, you know, the fact that even if you are wildly successful, that your, your landing page and your sales page still should be of the highest quality. To me, this just seems like, you know, it's not terrible, of course, right? It's got a lot of great info, but the layout, the lack of images, the lack of color and use of sections really is, uh, quite shocking, right? You know, somebody who's right here, the $21.7 billion man. Now I'm not saying this is his fault. You know, obviously he didn't create this, like I said, but even if this is his study, he himself or somebody on his team should have approved this. And, you know, to be honest, this looks like a, a beginner designer created this, right? So if you're interested in taking uh, a look at either the page or the program itself, you can go to abraham.com slash C Y O B S home study. Um, you know, if you're not interested in the program, but you want to look at the page itself and kind of determine, you know, what you like about it or what you think could be better, um, you know, on top of what I mentioned here, you know, feel free to do so. And, uh, if you are actually part of Jay's team and you're looking for some help designing a page, let me know. But yeah, so leave a comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this page. Again, you can go check it out for yourself and I'd uh, love to hear your feedback. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in another video. Take care.